Hey guys, I'm back with another video as promised. In this video, I wanted to make it about internships. How do you find an internship? How do you land an internship? And before you land it, how do you get the interview? What's the steps and process to that? So I wanna talk about it because I recently just interviewed with Timberlin. I am currently working with Google and I've worked with Onyx Magazine. I'm working with MKG, a creative agency, and the Florida Housing Coalition. And I've also got an internship offer from the Black News Channel, but too long distance. But now that everything is like, we're in a pandemic, everything is remote now, the bright side of that is you have access to places that you probably would not have had access to if you had to travel there for an in-person internship. A lot of internships right now are remote and you can take advantage of that. You can intern at a place based in New York or LA, which is what I'm doing right now. Where do you look for an internship? You look on Google, whatever you want to do, you type it in on Google. Typically when you look for that type of stuff, the first thing is going to come up is like Indeed, LinkedIn. Um, other sites like that yeah so google instant go to now handshake i feel like it's more geared toward college students because you get an account with handshake typically well from my experience from being in your university so you'll typically log in with your school's email and like mine is like at famu.edu and you have access to all of these companies that are looking for interns and you can look for part-time and full-time jobs Co contract jobs too are on there i find handshake very beneficial i love that website more than linkedin i've grown to love linkedin now but yeah linkedin is also a place that you can go to look for internships and the cool thing about linkedin is if you have linkedin premium you can see who's been looking at your linkedin account so I accidentally got LinkedIn Premium and I would get stats that would come in and be like, such and such has looked at your account. So someone at Disney I saw looked at my account. Maybe it have been my mentor, maybe not. Um, yeah, just different stuff like that. It's very like, okay, they're looking at me like they see what I have. Present your best self on LinkedIn. That's all I gotta say. And then there's a whole bunch of job opportunities on there as well. Once you find the internships that you want, apply for a bunch of them at a time. Don't just apply to one and leave, apply to a bunch of internships. And through this application process, you need to make sure two main things are on point. I'm gonna speak from a graphic designer standpoint and illustrator a little bit. Um, make sure your resume is on point and your portfolio is on point. When I say on point, Looking back when I first started applying to internships and I landed my first one with Onyx, not everything was 100%. My resume then does not look like how it does today because I've got a lot of critique and feedback where it looks a lot better. And it looked great then, but it looks a lot better than it did. So make sure you have experience. It doesn't matter if it's experience in your field or not when you're starting off on your resume. If you're coming in from high school, and you work somewhere, put that on your resume. If you're coming in from high school and you didn't work somewhere and you were in a club, put that on your resume, but turn it into a leadership type role where you held a position and list things that you've done and gear it that way. If you're a college student and the same things are for you, if you don't have a job while you're in college, okay. Put what you're involved in and if you do have a job and you don't you're not into any clubs put down your work experience and see how that leadership can tie into you what you're gonna do at that company or what you wish to do at that company those are some things that you need to have on your resume that's the main thing you need to have experience slash leadership you need to have skills hard skills soft skills you need to have your education what else do you need to have? Oh, if you're a graphic designer or illustrator, one of the most important things about your resume should be that it's a designed resume. If you're just starting off and you're a beginner, don't stress about designing your resume and
do not have an overpowering resume if you do design it. But those are some main things that you need to have on your resume to help you land your internship. And now moving forward, we're moving on to the portfolio part. So if you're just starting with your portfolio, you don't really have a lot of pieces or you only have a little bit or you don't feel too great about the pieces that you do have, whatever you have now and you're just starting, put it in your portfolio. It doesn't have to stay the same always because as you go on with time, things should change in your portfolio. You should have better pieces as time goes forward. So just get started and put stuff in your portfolio. Just make sure you're always working and constantly involving and wanting to level up your work. So resume, portfolio, both of those things are a must and they should always keep changing, not every day, but make sure you gear them towards your role that you're applying for and make them look 100. Some jobs have one interview, some of them have two interviews. And the main thing that you need to know for either if it's gonna be one interview or two is you should know how to sell yourself. I'm gonna ask you a basic question right now, okay? What is, okay, hold up. What is something that you're good at? How could you apply it to my brand, my company? Whatever you say you're good at, you should be able to twist it, manipulate it, and throw it in there and be like, I can do this at your company with me being good at this. In an interview, it's basically your pitch. You're pitching how you're gonna be an asset to that company or brand. And you should look presentable. Please dress very professional, very serious. If you are applying to a company that does not care how you look, still dress professional. They don't know you. This is their one time they're seeing you, so show your best self. I say that, but I just showed up to an interview that I forgot I had, and my bonnet was low. It was not in professional mode, and it looked a mess. I had on a t-shirt and my bonnet because my hair. But I still got my second interview, and they still want to do a follow-up. I just did that, and I'm still still in the process i'm still in the running because they like my personality that's another thing you got to learn how to sell yourself and most definitely show your personality in the interview just show that you want to be there and they can feel that and you need to ask important questions don't just ask how your day was when they ask you do you have any questions one of the main questions one of the most easiest questions and I called it basic last time I just interviewed with someone and they laughed at me. Eh, personality. But um, I was like, I'm sorry to ask you this question. It's so basic because I really had a question and it slipped away. And I was like, what's your day-to-day -day and your role? And they're like, oh my gosh, I love that you asked that. And they went on about their day-to-day. -day. And I liked the answer to their question and I was able to form more challenging questions upon that answer that they gave me. So you need to ask questions always in an interview. And then the process that you get your offer. Some internships are paid, some of them are unpaid. Sometimes you learn in the end that a position is paid or not. Sometimes up front they'll tell you if it's paid or not. Know what you're looking for. If you're looking for experience, Go ahead and take the unpaid position. Although the paid one would be better, but if you have no other offers and you just want some experience, go ahead and take your unpaid internship and learn. And if you want a paid internship and they're trying to not pay you, go with what you really want because you don't want to be unhappy that you're doing something and you're not getting what you truly want out of it. Like you want pay and you want experience. So. Go hustle and find that. You can find it if you really want it. You can make it happen. I believe in you. Not everyone has the luxury to take an unpaid internship. So if you really like the position that you applied for, but they're not trying to pay you, try to negotiate it. You don't know where it may lead you. They may be able to put up an offer. If they're not, then you need to move on and do what's best for you. But. This is all my tips and spills on internships, guys. How, how to land an internship, what to do, how to prepare, and what to sell. And the main thing that you're selling is your personality. And 
your work. They want to see your work and your personality, a combination of those things and how you can apply it to working with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very knowledgeable and I hope you get an internship very soon. I bestow upon you luck, okay? Have a great day and I'll see you soon.